I haven't spoken to you since that historic win and uh, that horrid historic after match. And it, must, it might be a little bit of a coincidence that it's uh, uh, the Ricky or the Ricky. Yeah, <laughs> that I, yeah. Today. <laughs> yeah, that could be a strange coincidence actually. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a, a bit of a whirlwind since that that win. Um, received a lot of support from the Māori community in regards to yeah, saying my pepeha and, and being the first person to speak to Reo in the cage. Um, yeah. <laughs> is, is that going to be an ongoing thing? Are you going to take the flag again? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely because um, it's just who I am. You know what I mean? Like that's what I, I think. Uh, oh, but of course, when people ask me that, I say, oh, but of course, like it's just that's just carrying more of myself into the ring. It's it's almost. Um, I wish I'd have done it from the start. I wish I'd have known who I was. So this is just part of the journey of um, knowing who I am and knowing who I am as a fighter and stuff. Is like. You know, fighting martial arts, it's not like a job, it's a vocation, it's, a, it's, it's my way, it's just the way I live, it's the way I go about my life, so with fighting, yeah, it'll be, it'll be intertwined with my, um, my rediscovery of my Māori tanga. Yeah. Cool, mate, that's excellent, and um, I know you've got a lot of supporters because I go to, to their classes, and oh, uh, awesome. yeah, they, they all know you. <laughs> oh, really? That's so yeah. cool, yeah. yeah. Some so people tell me some stuff, and I've been a bit of a hermit, um, just been like sick and, and just like, I don't know, just been doing myself, actually. I haven't been a hermit, I've just been my normal self, but I think, yeah, the more I think I will come out more my, out of my shell and I'll see that more and more, but some people... Um, yeah, still manage to, new people still manage to find me and come up and tell me like, oh, I saw you on this, I saw you on that. So yeah, it's really inspiring for me to see that. And it had a bit of a rub off because somebody else um, started talking in their native tongue after a win. Oh, yeah, Israel, <laughs> yeah, 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 well, I mean, yeah, it was, that was awesome. I think every, everyone needs to know where they come from because we, we are one planet but we're full of like all these different amazing cultures like that, like Nigeria, you know, and then we got uh, uh, us Kiwis here. Then we've got so many other beautiful Polynesian people that are, that are epic as fighters that can just carry that culture with them into battle as well. So yeah, I mean, that was, it's, that was the whole plan, I guess, was to just inspire people to get to know their culture. So that's cool. It's been a wee while now and you've, and you've Got anything lined up? Yeah, so trying to push for the Adelaide card in December. Um, but they do say, like, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, so maybe I need to start a little squeak. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's about time to start um, rallying the call. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be looking forward to pushing out some stuff in the near future. And has that. everything gone good since the, since the fight? You it came through it injury free? And yeah, it came out of it injury. Oh no, what did I say? No, no, no. I went in there with injuries, came out with injuries. Yeah. No, that's just the fight game though. But like through power of like just the mind, you can kind of overcome it. But yeah, no, everything's all good. Everything's all good. Yeah. Oh, well, we can only wish you the best and hope that we do see you on that card. I, I, most definitely. Tenakwe. <laughs>